544 divided by 4, so let's set that out. So 544 divided by 4, and I'm actually going to also represent this as a um, image. So here's my 1, 2, 3, 4, 500s together there, and then I am going to do my 410, so 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and my 4 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then what I'm going to do here is show that we are looking for groups of 4. So exactly the same thing, except over this side it's presented with the abstract numbers, over this side it's the um, place value counter, so it's pictorial. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to identify a group of 4 within the hundreds column. So there is one group of 4. So that one would be written up there. So the same thing here, one group of four. So I can now cross this out and regroup. And the same thing would happen over here. Take my hundred. And cross it out. And regroup the 10. That's the equivalent. So 10, 20, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now that I've done that, I've now got 140, so 14 tens sitting in the tens column. I'm now looking for groups of four again. So there's one group, two groups, three groups here. So one, two, three. So that three grows up here. And the same thing would happen over here. Now here we can see down the bottom that we have got one, two tens remaining. So they get regrouped into this column. So over on my um, question, I would represent that here with a two there. So 24 is what I've now got. And I'm now looking for how many groups of four in 24. So I have got um, these, so there's 110, so I'm to group those up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I've got another ten that I've got to regroup across, it's there, so ooh. one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and now I'm going to do that um, grouping. So we have got one group, we've got two groups, three groups, four, five, six, and there's no remaining there. So let's just check that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So that six would go there which tells us that the total would be 136. If there was one of the uh, place value counters left over, then the remainder would be one. Um, it's very straightforward.